this game has given us all some great memories. Here goes no fucking way. No way. <laughs> but honestly, most strangers are fine as long as they're no. not into necrophilia. No the second fucking I stepped in, way. he locked the door behind us, grabbing my neck and squeezing really fucking tight. The last thing I remember was the rush in his eyes while the life slipped from mine. Yeah, I said they were great. Maybe not in a good way. Anyway, I don't want to waste any time and I just want to thank everyone who has tuned into these videos of mine. It has helped me tremendously and has saved my YouTube channel. Now, away with all of this sappy nonsense. It's time to give you what you came for. In the last three videos, if you haven't watched them, go watch them now. Don't worry, I'll wait. We had only gotten six out of the 15 total endings and you guys made sure I knew that. So today we'll be completing the game 100%. Now let's begin. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. In the second Class of 09 video I made titled Class of 09 Broke Me, we were prompted with these two choices. Last time I chose the not so safe, <laughs> the not so safe for work um, choice, but this time we will choose to go to the concert and this is what happened. I thought they played music at concerts. Yeah, I think they're just doing a sound check. Song of the set, Lincoln Dark. Up next, Lincoln Dark. So you having fun? I'm actually having an aneurysm. Bruh, uh, you, Mr. Colby. What, what are you is... doing here? I work. Yeah, here. why is he? Oh, I guess you had to okay. find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about? Fired? I left. Moved on to bigger and better things. Sure, no, buddy. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm a player. Don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, Fuck I'd love you to in the seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty band, so... Come on, Nicole. Is this nigga is I know what no means? Are this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Fine! You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again! My players love me, and they all keep in touch. What Are you the threatening fuck? me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Fucking Wait, creep. You're gonna miss three more cover bands. Nah, bro, fuck this Crispin dude, bro. If you don't drop him and call the police on this weird fat fuck, bro. Who the fuck this, like, who do you think hey, he how is? Was the concert last weekend? One is expected. Makes sense. So hey, you want to skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. And fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go oh alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. What? You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like, I'm too far in. It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think if I love you more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. Damn. See ya, Nicole. God, I wish I was a lesbian. Bruh. You fucking whore! Bruh. No, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. I. What? I don't get it. Is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! He's lying. No, dude. I didn't. Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together. Fuck off. All those times I took you out and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, me too. If I knew you were easy, I would have tried more when I took you out. I'm what done the with you. Fuck? From now on, I'm going to make your life a living hell. My cousin's going to hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. Me, 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 me. Shut the fuck up, Jeffrey. You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want to date, huh? You kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole Fucking time! What the fuck, a buddy? Man actually started a rumor about me. It was, yeah, it was. It was that fucking coach. Somehow. It was that fuck fucking anyone. coach. Oh, you're actually here. Good. I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down. Yeah, um, you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down. To an extent, what's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. That's just kill sad, is a bro. rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more upset? Why does this matter? Literally, Let's try bro. a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? This sex. I'd rather not get into it. Long story. Really weird and embarrassing. Fair enough. What I'll say is when people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be mm -hmm. a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that. But the I gym mean... teacher, he was at this concert and now, like- Now hold on. So why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual yeah. frustration. Natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? No way. Hormones? Teasing. Are we being a tease, Nicole? Did you just say that to us? And you're actually employed here? Don't deflect. Exactly. You're usually so... And he's smiling, bro. Sharing. How am I sharing? What? For instance, how you shared your body with the varsity football team? There's no way. He's no. trolling right oh, now. Oh, now, don't be ashamed. You should be proud of your spontaneity. In fact, I think I'll take you out on a personal no field way. trip. No way. I'd love this to dude is a fucking pet, bro. Go fuck yourself. I'm seeing the principal. Might not be the best use of your time. Principal Lin knows, too. We all do. No way. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? Ooh. I can. What is this fucking school? Are we finna burn we're finna burn the school to the ground? Like in that one South Park episode? People are books, puzzles, and pawns. Oh, let's see. Let's see what in happened. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant mm. of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? Bruh. They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. Facts. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. No and way. And just like my dad. No way she did it. If you're reading this... I'm dead. The fucking Doki Doki Literature Club death scene, bro. I don't think I've ever played a visual novel with such a fucking depressing ending. She went to the counselor for help and the counselor tried to, I don't even know, like he, he, he tried to use her as well. She tried everything, bro. That like, that was just, that was the most depressing that was the actually probably the most saddest ending i've ever like that was probably the most saddest ending in this entire fucking game literally bro all right for the first ending we're going to continue from where we were last video and in last video we actually got arrested because we decided to go with white power um i'm not going to elaborate if you want to see it watch the previous videos please watch them to know what this is so we're gonna agree to disagree. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, uh, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? No way. Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. So we're just cool with her being an entire racist. All right. Who then. can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Bro, right there. What? Now, okay, who can bro. tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Bro. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his <laughs> achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try. That was not funny, game. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? 
<laughs> I don't know. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? <laughs> what? Is that the first time you ever heard that? You can't force me to care about any of this. You'll That's care true. when your SAT scores come back. I'm not taking the SATs. You only need that if you're going to a four-year college. Damn. Oh, so you're not going to college then. Think you have it all figured out. Why would a girl pay 40000 a year to get raped by a frat boy? Bro, <laughs> I don't even know if uh -huh. I can... Very funny. Leave uh, that yeah, in. I'm hilarious. Get more laughs than you. That was tragic. She just schooled Nicole, him. Nicole, get it together! Oh, the him. government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing. So fucking gay! Bro, What's chill. Your problem? You fucking whore, shut up! What the fuck? Hey, coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one. Go on. What is Mo think he is? I did get into Such bullshit! Uh, well, we don't maybe care? just get better at it no you don't understand like there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes they're doing so many that like 20 percent of the sports are automatically filled Why is he telling all us these that? mexican kids act like america's so okay racist bro when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything uh, okay bro like affirmative action i think that's what they call who it who the fuck I is braxton gay who's with me what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Say you love rap music. Why the fuck not? Hey, you want to calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Bruh. Whatever happened to classic rock or, or country, you know, like real music? Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh, yeah, you probably hmm. don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. Yes, fuck you. Bruh. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. Wigger I'm kids. Wigger. Just like... Liking black people or something, whatever. What the fuck? Wh why? But that's What's beside the... the point. Okay. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to <laughs> pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. This dude is so fucking but don't pedophiles dude. deserve to die? Yeah, he's Nicole, a literal pedophile. No one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. What the fuck? Was it pedophilia? Oh, how dare you! Look at him. You didn't we say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. How are you going to get mad for getting called out? almost got me that time. The fuck? What a fucking weirdo. Oh, cool. You joined too? No yeah, way. It's my heritage. I have to support it. No but way. Do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. Everybody I don't has know. the cult I'll probably shit see on. Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Literally. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? Even fucking my Jeffrey best, and you know. Jeffrey and fucking Crispin. The two fucking horses. <laughs> No fucking way. They got Jeffrey and Crispin, dude. What the fuck? Oh, to support this grand cause? Oh, my grand God. Grand cause. No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is, like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Bruh. Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being nothing white. Nothing more the punk rock. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, True. so come on, Nicole. You gonna join bit. or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. White pride love party. love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Yeah. Benefits of what exactly? What do you mean? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. Kick-ass shirts. I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. That, but a then for Jekka that. saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere, and you can belong too! Bruh. So, for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already loser, hits bro. on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. Yeah. So, let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. Damn. But the guys, they always talk to me now. I mean, I guess this. Like for fun? To uh, socialize? I, uh, or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well, the orders are fun, so kind of both. Bruh. All right. All right. We're, we're going to get a, we're going to, no. Okay. Uh, let's see how racist he'd be with female you attention. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but like, no you want to take me out later? Nicole. Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. 
Uh, unless, of course, Mr. White what told me to. What the fuck? No, I mean, like, take oh. me out on a okay. date. D date? You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Jeffrey. Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, No huh? fucking way we're doing uh, this. Well, not that busy. I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could synagogue. make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday is like my only free day for yeah, the next, Jeffrey. like, forever. The so fuck? damn, too bad. <laughs> what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, yeah. guys. Oh, hey, Jacka. what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Extra large yeah. eggs. Never in my days. That. Oh my god, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Damn. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? <laughs> no fucking way. What the fuck way. is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka. But I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Damn. Dude, what? Damn. You little fucking race traitor. Oh, shit. Mr. White trained me for oh, this shit, moment. Oh, shit, get ready. Aryan students. Imperial scribe Jekka. How may we serve you? Jeffrey what here is no fuck? longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Eliminated? Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Bro. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, <laughs> we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics. No you know. way. Even fucking crispy. <laughs> Jeffrey, that little fucking shit, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey. No so way. They I just fucking murdered happy. Jeffrey. But can I vent? <laughs> like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications. Definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. True. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with oh, you. Oh no. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. What? No, about me. Always about you, okay. Well, he wasn't really asking, just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What? What the fuck? What? No. Yeah, it's so yeah. It's obvious you dye it, right? Right. What the fuck? What what the what the fuck happened? How did how did we get here? Three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and what expelled the all fuck? the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like ninety five percent of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. What the no fuck? No teachers, no students, no, no school. school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. What the hell? So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit. That, like, the shit just went from bad to worse. All right, for our next ending, we're going to get a video of this mess and see what happens. So what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, for sure, dude. we could show you some if you like. My two well, least favorites. I was wondering if I could just, maybe just right there. take a video of it just so I could review at home and practice. Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. No All right, way. you better start rolling. Aryan brothers, assemble! Yo, we're doing the chant. Oh, yeah, we're doing the chant. Fucking loser. White pride worldwide. No white way. Pride yeah. worldwide. Awesome. White You're doing great, worldwide. guys. So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants, too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. No way. But he tried to invite himself over, too. Like, what the fuck, Jeffrey? <laughs> okay, let's see what the oh, Nation shit, of in the Islam room. forums have to say about this. Upload. Oh, shit. I can't wait to see what happens. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Damn. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire Holy school. Holy shit. He kind of just posted that. And I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. 
they they ordered a strike on the fucking I don't think y'all understand how unreasonably specific these endings are. They just called a fucking strike on the oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done Re reason in this game are not one. I'm done. Okay, last time uh we decided to make a vlog about Kyler <laughs> Decided to do some not so safe for work things. This time we're gonna exercise our newfound power in another way. Well, hold on. I might have a way easier idea here. Okay, let's see it. Call over the weird nerdy kid. The weird Jeffrey, nerdy kid. Can you help me hold my books? Huh? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Oh god. Where's the books? He was just Hi, waiting. Hey, Jeffrey. Uh, Nicole. Hi there. Bro. What's wrong, Jeffrey? Just looking for a new friend to chat with. Am I no good? Uh, no, you're fine. Bro. It's just, uh, I'm afraid of you. Uh, afraid you'll use your emotional <laughs> prowess to manipulate me into killing myself. This man, Jeffrey, Is that bro. what those boys are saying? Yes, you'd be correct. Well, guess what? What? They're right. Ah. <laughs> you don't want to fall in love with me, do you? Yes. I mean, no. I, bro. I, mean, I don't know. You're a smart boy, right? Let's make a deal. You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself. Bro. Really? You do that for me? I never thought a girl would be this nice to me. No Say yes before way. I change my mind. Uh, of course. I'll get right on it. Uh, see you tomorrow. No fucking way. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't Yeah, either. I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. But right? seriously, is it like your whole emo look they're into, or what? Yeah, long flowing ponytail, very emo. So, he stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. Bruh. I'm valedictorian for the class of 09. No way. He was still doing all that homework even after everyone stopped caring about the suicide. Bruh. Which was like a month, so Jeffrey's an outlier. For my speech, I just read quotes from an AA brochure and people ate it up. Special thanks to lacrosse. No fucking way. That's actually sick. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually sick. Not how she got there, but the ending. All right, so once we end up inside of Mr. White's class, uh, last time we told him he can't tell us what to do, but this time we're gonna passively, aggressively, I rolly him. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying- You can't talk like that to her. I can talk Thanks. any way I like, Jessica. That's, That's not okay. my name. See, you don't respect any of the girls. A guy mm -hmm. can just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, That's enough. Mm -hmm. You're on thin ice right now. You You're do? on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. Damn. I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Detention. Great. Wow. I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. Thanks. Like she said, except for the swear to God part, I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Bruh. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn, back that divine ass up. And up. Bro. When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. <laughs> Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. Do tell? All right, we gonna lie, lie, lie some more. Fuck. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said, said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. I mean, well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Damn. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for like years now. Damn. Really? Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Jessica here was there too and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh-uh, I see what's <laughs> going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last minute accusation. Last well, I minute. guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious, they should know too, don't you I agree? mean, bet. Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. All right. What are you doing? 
not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Juilliard. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Damn. I mean, that's what Mr. White get, bro. Being racist and shit. Hey. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Oh, that. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. Damn. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? <laughs> okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with... Uh, no way. Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My essential areas? No are you way. being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. <laughs> no well, way. Case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His Whoa. fingers were like in. Whoa. I believe you, sweetheart. Damn. Oh, awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. Uh, should we double down on this lie? Or we don't feel like interrupting? We're going to double down on this lie. No, wait. You're, you're actually going to do something about it? Aren't we broke? No, I just yeah. tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. Damn. I'm well connected. Damn, eight times? What? Good. Let's pin Mr. Young? White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you? There's so many people there as it is. Isolate? I don't get it. Well, he has to get you girls alone somehow to, to have, have his, his way. way. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, he just does it right in the middle of class. You're joking. Yeah, just grab your kids with no shame. He's going to kill us if we tell anyone. What the fuck? That is unfucking believable. <laughs> no I know. fucking way. There's like 29 of us. So that's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. No fucking way. <laughs> so, Nicole, We're in fucking court. In your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah. Okay. So... I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. And it's no an art way. class, and the table's huge, big enough for four no kids. No fucking way. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. No oh, fucking in way. In all the students, too. Then his hand started massaging <laughs> my breasts. So wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Damn. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. Well, see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. Damn. Fine then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my oh. neck and whispering things. I. Rather not repeat. Damn. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine Yo. ransom on the black market. Yo. <gasps> all right, all right, enough of this. I mean, you no, asked, bro. Keep going. This man, this Kyler. This is quite the imagination you have. But really, people? Are we going to believe this charade? When the schools show no other evidence huh? of misconduct from its faculty. What about the counselor? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. Look at the counselor in here. You know, we're going, you know what? We're going to ride this shit to the bank. We're going to ride this shit to the so, bank. So, just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However, a female principal? Who's a part of the problem? When you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing. It's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lin? 
What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law. Please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. She's speaking the truth. Now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey, sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and what? shower you in the life insurance What payout. the fuck? And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Damn. Settle down. Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever yep. reported anything like five minutes that. ago. Damn it. Got your ass, bitch. Oh, Coach is texting me again. Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Damn. Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. <laughs> Mickey Mouse tie. Damn, we really did school a whole fucking lawyer. It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500,000 in the civil suit shit. and I immediately dropped out and moved to LA. Yo! Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. Holy shit. I met shit. another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. That's fucking sick, bro. We just, we got fucking rich. That's probably the best ending in the entire game, bro. Holy shit. All right, this time we're going to pick avoid getting murdered after he's fired. Let's see what happens. I mean, I already explained it, didn't I? You know what I mean. Why isn't the rest of the faculty testifying in your favor? Any further details? Uh, the whole thing was kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy? Or abstract? Fictional? Made oh, up? Shit. All right! All right, what? I made it up. Oh. The whole thing. <gasps> oh, man. I knew you'd crack eventually. But how can you blame me? Just trying to put on my makeup and he belittles me in front of the whole class. You'd want to get even if you were in my position too. It's hard being me. Can anyone understand that? Damn. I understand this case is over. Damn. That is a damn shame. That is a damn shame. Needless to say, mom was pissed. I damn. was like, but I thought we should tell the truth. And she was all not in court, bitch. Facts. So we got buried in not legal in fees, lost our home, lost everything. L Mom what? found Is another husband and said I could rot under a bridge for all she cared. Damn. I opted for the cardboard box. At least I can decorate it. Lesson learned, though. I learned honesty makes your life way harder than it needs to be. Damn, we just in a box? I, I feel bad for her. Like, we living in a fucking box. Damn, that just... Like, damn, that really got... We, we, that was a rich or poor situation. Like, it'd be those split decisions right there in, that can actually change you, change in real life. Like, hey, I'm just saying, man, make sure y'all look out and make the right choices, man. It could be them type of choices that can change y'all lives, bro. All right, guys, so there's actually another ending we can get. So instead of passively, aggressively, I really ying him. I'm sorry, again. Um, we, We're going to say he can't tell us what to do, and let's see what happens. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. Damn. Basically, after this part, Mr. White sends us to the counselor, and we have the same conversation with the counselor. It's pretty pointless, blah, 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 blah. So I'll skip there after that. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. Exactly. What's up, you whores? Wow. Bruh. Hi, Kyler. You shit talking, Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. Bruh. What are you, 10? <laughs> Whatever. Just a little fun on the side. We'll pick it up, bitches. Bruh. I've been here pick for it up, a year bitches. I've never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? Jenny she was Fillmore. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah. Me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. 
That's a good reason. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's gonna be so boring if I can't go. Kinda don't I don't care. want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Oh, man. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? Oh, brother. Ooh, I really want to pick this one. I really... Ooh, I want to save it. I want to save it. I really want to pick it. I Okay, we're going to save it. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. We're going to say on one condition. Uh, maybe. But you need a conversation starter if we're going to justify bringing you. Yeah. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like... Like, like, well, like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At Magazine oh, Studios, see. duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Yes. Oh, really? Fuck Mr. White. Think, that racist I think bastard. Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go oh, God. for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. Making friends. It's bitch. amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, True. it's like there's laws for it or something. <laughs> so, what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Bruh. Going to a pool party? This fucking fall? creep. Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. Uh, you sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. We'll make sure it fits flawlessly to your every oh, curve. Oh, okay, buddy. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. What a fucking weirdo. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah. yeah. Is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yeah. Beyond, what else is new? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. How? He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Bruh. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Bruh. Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like three levels worse than what I thought he was going to do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Eck make it. Home Eck? What are they going to make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was going to do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. Damn it, yeah. That sounds like something they do. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed Bro. It. What the fuck? How do you Fucking get in here? Jeffrey. There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole, if your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. What the I'm fuck? I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? Yeah. You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Alright guys, editing the money here. Just wanted to let you guys know for this next scene real quick that uh, my mic actually was not on, but uh, it's still really good, so you guys don't want to miss this ending. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker?
so I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear, like no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I want to go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears and a tail and were basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for like three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a dip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait, it's only like a minute, see? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay-ass photo lab. Oh my god. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yeah, what's up? You're expelled! Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our differences here and there, but... Sign my yearbook? No. W what No. And once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. <clears throat> Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? If that's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here. 
like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors and they told me to get my grades up. <gasps> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out. Just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, you fuck the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the feminism club. Politics or fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. I already have. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common, but it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. I promise I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. All right, man, if there was a normal ending to this game, I'm pretty sure that was the normal ending. It wasn't too happy or like too much of a good ending like the like the one we got 500k but this one was it was pretty you know this is what i this is an ending i would expect to get at the end of this game you know pretty all right yeah on to the next one all right let's see what happens when we say this i really want to see no fuck off fine be a bitch see if i care you're just mad you can't see us in bikinis this weekend what are you doing what Don't why is she teasing like him that? He's a rapist. Sex turns into violence overnight for those types. Damn. But like choking but she's and not biting, wrong, that and maybe? jerking off while thinking about us, suddenly turning into Jekka would look so hot with her oh. organs gouged out. Oh, God. How do you know these things? Bruh. I had a brother. Hmm. Had a brother. Yeah, they really need a lock on that door. Thanks, hindsight. So what the fuck do I do right now? This is gonna ruin my life. Why can't you tell the principal again? Cause that's fucking embarrassing. Miss Lynn, that mean boy has a picture of my titties halfway out. Bruh. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to make it your fault anyway. That's true. I still can't believe he shot it on medium format film of all Damn. things. What kind of pretentious medium dipshit jerks film? off to film prints? Our parents in the 70s? Wait, like film film? Like it needs to be developed? Yeah, he said he was getting it developed to tomorrow's film club. Break in that bitch. No lab, no Thanks. developing. If it's some weird format, there won't be another one oh, for so miles Oh, so instead of miles, Kyler right? breaking it, we're gonna be Destroying breaking it. Destroying the dark room. Would I get expelled for that? If you we go might. in after everybody leaves, no one needs to know. Just wear gloves or something so you don't leave fingerprints. Gloves? If I have any. Will you go with me? No, it's not my ass on film. Come on, I'd help if it was you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. 
Okay, I wouldn't, but... Damn, God I mean, at least she's on. Is it well, really the end of the world wasn't. if people see you in your underwear? You look good naked. Yeah, exactly. If I had weird tits and a gut, it'd be classified as an artistic nude. But if you're hot with no clothes on? It's porn. Fine, I'll drive Bruh. you over there, but I'm not stepping a foot inside that place. Let's go. All right, man. I hope we don't get caught. Wow, I am creative when it comes to destroying things. Damn. Are you done yet? Yeah, just about. This should buy me enough time to swipe Jeffrey's camera and ruin the negative. Hey, Whoa, what the fuck? Do you have permission to be here? Ah, uh, yep, it's over. It's a wrap. Uh, Can we lie? If I said a teacher told me to meet here for a date, would you go after him or just blame me for that too? A date in your pajamas. Damn. Did he tell you to destroy thousands in school property too? Look at this place. Come with me. Oh, what? shit. It was like this when I sleepwalked in here. Sleepwalked. You wear gloves to bed? Ah, oh, yep, we're fucked. Well, so much for Jekka's stupid fucking glove idea. Hmm. To this day, I genuinely believe sleepwalking would have worked if it wasn't for wearing those. It probably Anyway, would've. I got statewide expulsion. Bruh. Yeah, I didn't know it was a thing either. Mom refused to move again, forced me to get a shitty job, and hits me to relieve her feelings of disappointment. The deep fryer leaving craters on my face is bad, but anyone from school seeing me is a suicidal experience. Wow, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Fuck off. Holy fucking shit. That is the worst possible. That's not the worst ending, but that's the worst normal ending I think we could have gotten. Like, that's very depressing. Like, imagine you go on to school and then some fucking creep takes a picture at you, takes a picture of you while you're changing. He then shows the picture to the whole fucking school. You try to get rid of it. You're at, you get in trouble with the cops. You get thrown in jail. Now you're getting beat by your mom and you're working at fast fucking food. Damn. No, I usually don't do this, but uh, <laughs> I'ma go ahead and undo it. It's the remix to ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every man in here wishing. I'm sipping no coke and rum. I'm like, say what I'm drunk. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah, we out.